Hey, how's it going, people? So, this is just an intro video to let you guys know a little bit about myself and my business, how I got started, and why I got started. So, my name's Jose. Uh, my company name is SRJ Lawn Care. I am out of uh, New Braunfels, Texas. Beautiful city, by the way, and one of the fastest growing cities in uh, Texas. But anyways, um, back in 2012, I was working for a small company, um, and I had a go at this thing, uh, yard maintenance. So it worked out for just a little while, but my customer base wasn't the greatest, and then I was fairly new, I didn't know what I was getting into. Um, my properties were all scattered out throughout the, the city and some of them weren't even in my city. Some of them were out of the city, probably about an hour's drive or something like that. And it was just one or two properties and that was it. I didn't know how to charge, you know, what my price should be for a yard. And still, I'm still struggling with that. Um, but back in 2012, I had a go at it and I obtained a few yards. It was me and another buddy that uh, just decided to start mowing yards to get extra money on the side. And he ended up <laughs> getting another job. You know, I had a full-time job myself as well, but he ended up getting another job where he didn't have any more time to, to come help me out. So I just kept doing it by myself and I had probably about 12 yards at the most. Um, and like I said, it was going all right for a while. Um, where I was at in my full-time job, it was an eight hour job. So I had plenty of time to do, uh, things and, you know, and, and during the week, maybe one or two yards and then the rest of them uh, on Saturday. Well, I got the opportunity to start at another job, making more money and I jumped on it. So, started doing that. I wanted to keep doing the, the yard thing because I wanted to own my own business one day. Uh, but it didn't work out because I was working 10 hours there, six days a week. And it was a hard labor intensive job. And, you know, it just didn't go well with doing that. And then going out every day and try to get, you know, at least one or two yards done. And I was beat at the end of the day. Well, Saturdays were mandatory and 10 hour days, I, I just decided to stop doing it. So that company that I started with got bought out by uh, a pretty big company, worldwide company. Um, I don't want to say the name just because I don't, I don't want to put the reputation out there. But anyways, they, they bought the smaller company out. Uh, the smaller company had obtained a, uh, uh, a big contract from a big, uh, you know, a big company as well uh, for a job. So this company came in, bought us out. They integrated into the smaller company and they went at it with the project that they had. So they did bad business. The project didn't come out as uh, well as they planned. Started losing money. The company worldwide started doing bad business and started uh, shutting down some of their sectors. So our part of the business was um, one that was doing bad. So these people decided to uh, lay us off one because they did bad business on their end you know with the company and then two uh the project that was going on was not well planned and they were fairly new to this business so they didn't know exactly what was going on and um, <clears throat> they started losing money on that so they started cutting people back to 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 balance it you know so 
this was in 2017 so I thought I was going to be part of the layoff uh, the first round so before they laid everybody off I, uh, I went out and bought me again a 21 inch um, Troy built mower off of uh, Facebook I bought me a uh, handheld Husqvarna blower off of Facebook uh, and a homeowner's Ryobi weed eater from Home Depot basic all you need to start really you're not trying to provide any any other service uh, besides mowing you know because it's the easiest thing to do so I got that I started posting ads on, uh, on Facebook marketplace um, the group pages you know if you're just starting out I advise you go into your Facebook uh, page and look up uh, city groups the buy sell trade uh, groups and those are great places to um, to advertise if you're getting started <clears throat> even if you're a big company it's a good place to to advertise but anyways I started advertising there I started advertising on um, Craigslist like I had done back in 2012 you know but I didn't do Craigslist as much because that's the one that got me yards further away from the city <clears throat> well I started obtaining customers you know it wasn't many I started getting maybe two three you know four started off with that um, which is I was like okay that's good so started making money uh, word of mouth from them got me more customers so I obtained a few um, at the end of the season 2017 season I had I ended up with 17 regular customers and I would do odd jobs here and there uh, so it was it was okay money it was nothing big but it was something to get started and I still had my full-time job you know I didn't get laid off in that first round which was luckily uh, lucky for me well in 2018 they did a uh, they held a meeting in the middle of the year well first quarter of the year and that's when they told us um, you know we're shutting the company down and I was like well the good thing is I already had a small business going uh, which was it was okay it was, it's doing okay still doing okay right now <clears throat> um, and by that time I had maybe about this is 2018 already I had maybe about um, 25 26 customers that's including the customers from uh, the past year so I was like okay so I started pushing more on uh, on Facebook again that's all the advertising I do I don't have a web page you know I do have a Facebook page I just recently added a uh, Instagram page so if you guys want to look us up we are SIJ SRJ lawn care and both uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram but I started pushing on Facebook again and I ended up by the time they laid us off I ended up with 35 customers regular customers so right now we're in October end of October pretty much and I have 30 30 some customers 35 36 customers somewhere around there uh, it's okay profit you know it's still fairly small I would like to get some more but it's the end of the year and you know I'm just trying to, to get the end of the year over with and you know jump on hard advertising for next year already planning out 
But that's the main reason why I started doing this. Um, I had to have some sort of income coming in whenever they uh, they laid me off. Because you know it's hard whenever you get that layoff and you, you don't have anything lined up. You know, and it's not easy finding another job. Um, I was making very good money. I was making close to $27 an hour for this company. I had been there for six years. Um, they did give us an, uh, a severance package, which was uh, awesome. You know, and I really appreciated that. And it's still uh, paying me right now. I still got a few more uh, weeks to go. But that's, that's what's gonna get me through the year. And my, my business, whatever I have. Um, but that's the main reason I, uh, I started doing this, because of that layoff. Now, I've always wanted to own my own business. You know, I know it's hard, but it's, it's one of those things that every person dreams of, being their own boss. At least I do, and I know a lot of people do. You know, you don't want to have somebody over your head pushing you and, and telling you, hey, why are you standing around? Hey, why are you this? Why are you that? You know, sometimes you have a family emergency and you even get in trouble for, you know, not showing up to work or calling in and, you know, saying, hey, somebody's in the hospital, my kid or whatnot. And they, they give you crap about it, man. I, I'm just tired of that. And that's why I wanted to own my own business. <clears throat> and here I am I'm gonna push it I'm gonna push it hard and I'm just praying I'm just praying to God that that it does work out <clears throat> but from where I'm seeing it, it's looking like it's gonna go pretty good I've been staying busy all week you know uh, people still calling me to do odd things here and there Hey, can you clean up a flower bed? Hey, can you, uh, you know, get in new customers too for even next year? Uh, they wanted me to go take a look at their yard and give them a quote. And I've already talked to a few that that were wanting the, the quote for uh, next season. Because we're coming up to the end of the season, like I said. And, you know, grass is going dormant uh, most of the places. But um, it's it's been it's been a good journey, you know. It's been a learning experience, and I've been enjoying it. You know, I, if you're wanting to start your own business because of uh, X thing, I say give it a go, man. Just just push yourself. Don't get um, you know upset or or. Don't let yourself down whenever you see or struggling uh, to get business. It's all part of the game. It's all part of the game. I'm still hanging in there. Um, I was stressed out as heck, man. I had, <clears throat> you know, my, my yards to mow. I had my full-time job. And people, I had let go a lot of work because uh, I didn't have time because of my full-time job. And I didn't want to let that go either because it was what I was depending on to live off of, you know. I didn't have enough business, uh, or I didn't think I was getting enough business either, even though I let go of uh, some jobs to maintain my family with this. Um, but it, it, it's hard. It's hard, but don't let yourself down. Um, like I said, I started off with the with the push mower. I started off with the um, with the handheld blower and a Ryobi weed eater. That Ryobi weed eater made me a lot of money, I can tell you that much. Got it for 120 bucks and uh, it's one of those where you can take off the, the, the head and put on a different thing. You can put on a hedge trimmer, you can put on a chainsaw, you can put on a, uh, the weed eater and they got other attachments on it too, a tiller and whatnot. But anyways, that, that thing is still running and I still use it. <laughs> it's still making me money. It's a, uh, what, one, this would be its second year. And I mean, it, it, it's still good. You know, as long as you take care of your things, they'll make you money. I can tell you that much. But, yeah, man, I mean, I'm pushing hard. I'm trying to hang in there. 
I know the end of the season's coming up. Luckily, I had, uh, whenever they told us, or they started doing the layoffs last year, I started setting money aside just because I knew that it was going to be hard to find a job if, if I had to find another job and I would have something aside already there that I can fall back on. And I started my business too. Luckily, you know, it's been going good and it's going to go better, you know, God's will. And, um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me, about my business. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be uploading some videos to just see if you guys, um, are interested in watching them. Just regular videos of me mowing or doing random jobs. You know, if I can give you guys tips here and there, um, I would, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put it up. But this was just an introduction video and why I started doing this. And, you know, probably my next video up would be one where what my equipment is now, what I'm running this season. You know, I know it's the end of the season, but I would like to show you guys uh, what I ran with this season. Remember, I started with a, a regular push mower, 21 inch, uh, Troy Belt, a Ryobi Weed Eater and a um, Husqvarna handheld blower which I still have um, the only thing I do not have is the mower that mower I got another one for free a Toro 22 inch because um, it wasn't running and I fixed it and then a buddy of mine <laughs> offered to buy me the other one because uh, he needed one for his yard. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So I just sold it to him. But um, from there on, you know, I started saving the money from the yards. Um, and I started escalating my equipment. Started off with a, um, a, a bigger mower. From there, I jumped to a, what size was it? A 32, I believe. Yeah, 32, zero turn. Uh, walk behind um, belt driven so it's one of those where it has the brakes um, that thing was fun I had it for a while uh, it made me some money from there I sold it and I bought me a zero turn from Home Depot a homeowner's um, or a residential uh, machine still a good machine made me good money again saved my money um, and bought me more equipment but yeah that's pretty much uh, how I started but in another video I will tell you guys uh, more a little bit about that um, you know equipment I started off with how I started upgrading I would show you guys some pictures of uh, I don't have what I started off with, but I do have picture a picture of what you know my upgrade looked like after I started getting more and more customers and saving the money from the yards and and buying better equipment to better service the people. Um, but yeah, you know if you guys keep tuned, I will get that video up sometime here, you know within the next week or two. Um, right now it's just an introduction video so you guys can meet me who I am uh, what my business was about again and you know hope to see you on the next one just subscribe and uh, press that like button and so you guys can get that notification of uh, when that video comes up you know it's gonna be an interesting journey so I hope you guys uh, get on it see you next time